kits, right? Yes, yeah, sure. We need to feel, if you're pastry, maybe you don't. Uh, but we need to feel right along here, very gently, because there's bones all the way along here. Somebody has a really nice pair of fish flaps, I saw them. Who is that? Yeah. Little tweezers. Somebody's got a really nice pair, I saw them. Um, anyway. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here, we're gonna take out each one of these bones. Does that, you, have, you have a pair? Be really careful with these, because they tend to get nasty fast. Take real good care of them, especially after you use the fish, wash them, sanitize them, dry them off. Okay? And these should only be used for the fish. So what we'll do is we'll find out where they start, and then when we pull them, it's very important that we pull them towards the head, right? So once you can get a hold of them, find the bone, pull it out, straight down, right? If we pull the wrong way, say if we pull back, it's going to tear right through the meat. So you want to pull in the direction the bones are going. There we go. These are really nice. Get your pair of these. They look like tweezers, but they're, they're, they're very good for fish bones. Okay? Okay? They come out real fast. And, and this tends to not screw up the meat because it's got that nice wide surface area, and so when you go into scoop, your eyebrows are decent, huh? 21st century man, got to. <laughs> anyway, so somebody's going to take all of those out of the fish. You want to make sure that you don't miss any because you saw how big these are. Not even that in your throat, right? You wouldn't be too happy as a customer. Especially if you're paying $25.99, $35.99, $45.99 for a piece of fish. And then you choke on the bone, kind of ruins your experience. So it says in, our, uh, in our case, we don't have a fish knife, we use a bony knife instead. Yeah, use your bony knife. You don't have a fish knife in the case. No, it's, yeah, just use your, just use your bony knife. And, and that's why I had him bring his bony knife, because you guys are all going to do tilapia. And you're going to use your bony knife for tilapia. It's a little bit easier to, with what you guys have to do. Okay? Now. A couple of ways that we can portion this fish out after we do that. Um, you asked me if I'm going to leave the skin on? Yes. <clears throat> yes. But if I wanted to take the skin off, I'll show you how to do that too. So, I am going to, when I cut these, I usually cut them at a little bit of an angle to make them look better. Okay? So if I'm going to make uh, six or eight ounce portions, I'm going to give myself one little nice cut here. Okay? Really gently. I'm going to take the bones out later, but I just want to... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fine. Okay? So I so I, I portion them out to make them look a little bit bigger. You can cut them straight down if you want to, however you're going to cut them. I'm going to take this in half. Are you determining the ounces? I saw you counting the bones. Oh, no, I didn't count the bones. I just, uh, I estimated because once you've done about 100 or 150 of these, you just know. But when you guys first do them, you'll do them on a scale. So we'll portion these out in a nice little six ounce pieces after we take all the bones out. But if you want to take the skin off, this, we're not going to waste. We're going to get all the bones out of there. We're going to utilize it. We can poach it, make it into salmon cake. We can uh, grind it up, make a salmon mousse. We can smoke it over there in the smoker. We do a lot of different things with this stuff. We don't waste it ever. But if we want to take the skin off, if we leave the skin on, usually we score it a little bit. And we always cook it skin side down so that that way it gets nice and crispy. And then you have nice crispy salmon skin. There's nothing worse than having a little soggy piece of salmon skin. So make sure that it's really nice and crispy. Okay? And you be real gentle with the fish. Okay. So if we're going to take the skin off, I need to get a hold of it. My hands are kind of slimy. So we start down at the tail. We take our knife, and you can even use a chef's knife for this. It's no problem. We get right up underneath the skin and the meat, right between the skin and the meat. Then we get something to hold on to. We just work that back a little bit. I'm not cutting. I'm using my other hand to pull. And 
then once I get under there real good, okay. it should come right off. Okay, with very little left on there. And then we can take this, and make a wallet, make a bathing suit, or you could take it and make sure that there's no scales on it, and you can deep fry it. You can, put, you can put it under the broiler, you can do a lot of different stuff with it, right? You can put it between two silk pads, make a little salmon crisp chip, put a little salt on it. Be careful with the salt, because remember, this was in contact with the ocean, so it's already got a little bit of salt going on there. But we don't waste it. And you want to make sure that you keep this nice and moist, because if you let it dry out, it just starts to stink. It's pretty so gorgeous. how do you make fish stock in the game? Well, I don't, I don't highly recommend using salmon. Uh, salmon in a fish stock. It's really fatty, yeah. it has really high fat content, and it's got a very distinct flavor, and so the only thing we would be able to use it for is salmon. Um, you guys have any questions about that? So it's actually a lot easier to take the pin bones out after you take the skin off. So these ones will just come right out. These ones are actually attached to the skin. And then we'll portion it out in a nice little portion so they look big. Each group will get one. Maybe we'll take this and take it to the smoker. Clean that up. Right, uh, and then I will get my station nice and cleaned up, and we'll do your tilapia. Is the technique for tilapia different than the Not really, but.